Okay, so the very first thing to say, which also may sound very silly to many of you, and that is when you are specifying tabla in your composition, make sure you say Indian tabla. Now, this is also a tabla or tabla. This is an Egyptian tabla and it is very different to the Indian tabla, as you can see. Uh, what you don't want is to write for tabla and have the wrong instrument specified or uh, what's happened to me in the past is you have the wrong musician turn up for the session. <laughs> so that's the first thing. Okay, so what is the Indian tabla? Well, the Indian tabla is a two-piece drum set and generally speaking, you have a larger um, metal drum and you have a smaller wooden drum. So the wooden drum is of a smaller diameter and has more tension in the straps. So that enables it to produce a higher sound as opposed to the lower drum which produces a lower sound. The most distinguishing features of the tabla are the black spots in the middle. And these are carbon paste, uh, a mixture of carbon paste that's applied during the making of the drum. And it's these spots that allow the drum to resonate more than a normal bongo would, for example. So if I strike the drum very gently, you can hear it resonating, as opposed to a standard bongo, which I have here. If I was to strike that, that's the length and or duration of the resonance. The other thing about the black spots is also that it enables the lower drum to make this beautiful and very uh, iconic sound of the tabla. And it's the weight of the paste on that drum head that enables that. Because the drum's still resonating, it gives me the option of applying an after effect or a glissando to that note. Whereas on the smaller, on the smaller bongo, I couldn't do that. There's sort of nothing to ride on, so to speak. Okay, um, the other important thing to say is the tabla is a hand drum. And if you're a composer that's passionate about extended techniques, uh, I would definitely advise not playing these with sticks. The sticks will damage the paste, and uh, whenever I visit classrooms in schools that have tablas in stock, they are usually damaged by students hitting the drums with a drumstick. Even a soft beater, I think, would damage the, the skin. So make sure it is just only played by hand. Another amazing feature of the tabla drum is because of these black spots, it enables the tabla to have two open sounds as opposed to one open sound. Most drums have only one type of open sound and one type of closed sound. With the tabla, it has two open sounds, a fully resonant one, one on the edge, and then a closed sound. Fully open, a sort of half muted open, which is the most common strike, and then a closed sound. The fascinating thing about the open sound on the smaller drum, which is the one that's tuned, and we'll talk about that later on, is that it ends up having two pitches. So, that's actually in a lower register, but I'm not a great singer, as you can tell. Cool, so that's the scope of the tabla sound world. Let's now look at how to notate those sounds in a tabla score.